everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Kimberly and today is another Friday Q&A. This Q&A today is really juicy. I got into a lot more personal questions that you guys had. And so I'm so excited to start with question number one. This is it guys. Kimberly, I've been dating this boy for almost a year and he still won't hold my hand. Is that something I should be concerned with? It sounds like you are dating a very, very shy person. And in cases where you're dating someone who's shy, it's perfectly normal for them to not want to make the first move. They're shy. So if you're in a situation dating someone and you're wondering like, oh my God, they still haven't held my hand and it's an entire year that's passed. It has nothing to do with how much they like you very probably because if, if they're in a relationship with you in the first place, and especially if they're the one that initiated it, they feel comfortable around you. They want to spend time with you. So chances are that they really are engaged and they've been wanting to hold your hand for a, a long time. They just won't make that move. And once you're in kind of comfortable territory, it gets even harder and harder to make that move. It's kind of like how you feel when you have a crush and you haven't walked up and talked to them yet, you get more paralyzed with each and every month that passes. The same thing goes when you're in a relationship and the move has not been made. The only way to solve this problem is, girl, you're just gonna have to hold his hand. And I know that sounds a little bit intimidating, but the truth is the belief that both of you are going to feel when this move finally happens and the momentum that it's gonna create in creating a deeper bond between the two of you and helping you connect could be very meaningful for your relationship. And so if you wanna hold your boyfriend's hand, I'd say you just gotta go ahead and make that move. It's not that hard. I wish you the very best of luck. How do you get your crush to follow you back on Insta? Guys, I get asked this question a lot. And honestly, the best way to get your crush to follow you back on Insta is to do it in person. You have to be talking to them, engaging with them, and be like, oh, what's your Instagram again? I'm gonna follow you. Okay, now I'm following you. And chances are, if you do this, they are actually gonna pull out their phone and follow you back. If they don't, if they're just you know standing there, you can be like, oh, I'm gonna follow you on Instagram. Okay, I'm following you. Did you get that? Did you, did you see, that's my handle. It's a lot easier when you follow each other in person because then that person is a lot more likely to just check and see if you follow them, then they can follow you back. Once the two of you are actually following each other, this makes talking to each other a lot easier. It's a lot less awkward when you comment on their photos because obviously they're gonna show up. And it's even a lot easier to make conversation by making a comment on one of their stories. Guys, honestly, the Instagram in is a really good one with any budding relationship. And so I'd recommend to be following each other on social media platforms pretty much as soon as possible. Okay, next question. This one's really juicy. I honestly don't know if I've ever been asked this question before. How do you know if you like someone for their personality or just their looks? Now, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys for just a second. It's very rare that you ever start liking someone for their personality. And the reason is because when we first meet people, the only thing we have to see of them is their looks. Like, that's all we have to go on, right? We just see them and we're either like, I think they're cute, or we like them as a friend, or maybe we don't like them at all because they're scary. But you know, really looks from an evolutionary perspective, that's really all we have to go on when we first meet someone for the first time. However, the more time passes and the more we get to know someone, we really start to get to know their personality. So sometimes somebody who isn't as good looking at first might start to appear a lot more attractive because of the way they act. And it may not necessarily be because they're like a nice person. Sometimes like a mediocre looking guy can actually be a huge player and because he's so confident, he can actually appear more attractive. But then there's also people who at first come off as really attractive, but because of some of their behaviors, they actually come across as less attractive over time. Things that can make someone seem less attractive over time are things like insecurity, nervousness, shaking your hand and pretending like, oh my gosh, they think that you're gonna reject them at any second. And even sometimes the way they interact with people and their confidence in interacting with those people can either make them seem less attractive or more attractive. My answer for you, if you're wondering if you like someone for their personality or just their looks, is to ask yourself, how long have you known this person? On what kind of level do you know this person? Do you know them deeply? Because if you know them deeply, you're probably gonna be able to answer to yourself whether you like them for their personality or their looks. And if you don't know them deeply and your observations and your biases and your feelings are based on that, 
then you have your answer. I really hope that answers your question, but guys, that is not all. I have so many more juicy questions today. So many more over on the membership section. I am going right there right now to wait for you guys because I'm gonna answer the rest of the questions over there. The way that you get there is that you just have to go to my page and click the join button. Then all of your membership options are gonna come up. Daisy's the first level. That's where you get weekly quizzes that go along with every single week's video. Here you can get a lot more detailed information and faster answers if you have a situation that requires a quick answer because you're gonna be answering the questions in the quiz yourself. Second option is Love Bug and that's the one where I'm gonna be meeting you guys right now today. This is the second tier where you have access to the quizzes and the extended Q&As right here every single week. So I'm gonna meet you guys over there right now and if you want this Q&A you have to click the Love Bug. And then the final option, the final tier is Love Bug Elite and those are my Love Bugs that are gonna get an online live Q&A with me once a month. So buckle your seatbelts because those are gonna be very, very awesome. Live, real answers from me. And guys, I cannot wait to see you over there. So go ahead over there right now, click the join button and meet me over there. And I'll be live chatting with you guys. I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments and in the videos. And I cannot wait to see you soon. I love you guys all. And I'll see you next Friday for another Q&A. Bye guys. What do I want?